And it's the show, it's the show, it's the show, it's the asshole cooking show, it's welcome to the show, and uh, in today's show we're going to do this, um, the girlfriend makes this, she, this she usually does this, um, I might get some, have some coaching done over here, She. I might get a little coaching, but I got this written down, because very wonderful dinner here, this is some uh i like this a lot and then i'm good we were thinking about either filming her or do it but i'm gonna go and do it okay i'm gonna get started i'm just gonna start my beef start my beef cooking here uh i'm gonna drain it but uh i'll throw this lid on here but i'll explain this this is called a uh connecticut beef dinner, a connecticut beef dinner. Uh, um, anyway, this is what she makes. We're, we we are going to need uh, about a pound of ground beef, but I guess you can gauge it if you want to make it for a larger amount of people. We, in this case, this was, this was what about a a pound? Well. Yeah, the yeah, ballpark idea here. Of, uh, we're going to put it in a. We're going to you're going to need one of these, a pretty big, a nice sized pan. You can probably gauge your recipe depending on if. If you want to cut this in half and make a smaller meal for yourself or this is going to be a meal for two or but you know we'll be eating this probably tomorrow too it's going to be uh yeah you need a pan at least like that and got to, this time we got to cook the meat and then I'm going to get all drain all the grease out i'm going to strain it when you strain your um beef here i'm just explaining this because it's going to, i'm going to pause later but i'm going to, Get this going. You're going to need some tators, tater tots. I just call them tators. I don't know why. I just like the sound of it. But And I got a big-ass bag of this uh, cheddar here. This is a big-ass bag, but you can go smaller. I'm just crazy as hell in the cheese. We got another bunch of these. In fact, we got two big-ass things of cheese. I went shopping. I grabbed it. We're going to be making lasagna again. And I could probably make a lasagna episode again. I'm thinking about it. I don't know, but I don't know. I already did two lasagna episodes, but we're just going to be having lasagna sometime in the future. And you know, I might do something different. But all right. So um, enough of that explaining. Oh, you're going to need some of this sour cream. I've almost forgot to say. Oh, and you're going to need some Rice Krispies because we're going to top it off with Rice Krispies. Snap, crackle, pop, rice, krispies. Okay, yeah. So you're gonna need some of that and some of this. Yeah, this brand is named after my uh, cat. That uh, she's no longer with us. She died. I had her for a bunch of years. But yeah, my cat was named Daisy. But uh, all right, we're gonna pause. I'm gonna while well, this meat cooks, I'm drain the grease out. We're gonna pause. After all this jibber jabber here. Forgot. You're going to need a can of this cream of toadstool. Cream of mushroom. Uh, and uh, we got on a recipe a, a dash of garlic powder. But we elected to do to not put the garlic powder a dash of it. Because I got this cream of toadstool here. With roasted garlic already in it. And I, uh, yeah. Oh yeah. The. Oh, yeah, we need some of this Worcestershire sauce. Yeah, I got it in there. I got the instructions. You're going to need some of that, too. But anyway, I'm kind of cooking the meat here, trying to get it greased. But I get a little crazy with the garlic. But do what you like out a little bit, you know. Today, I'm not going to get really nuts with the garlic because uh, I'm trying to do it like uh, a little bit more discipline. But okay, I didn't miss anything. Yeah, we're going to use a dash of Worcestershire. That's going to come later when I do next step, but I almost forgot. The meat kind of um, cooked there. We're going to throw it in this strainer here. I'm going to throw this in the strainer, make this as grease-free as possible this time. i get all the grease off. Felix scrutinizing here. She's He's supervising, right, Felix? The Felixer. All right, we're going to take this. 
and I'm gonna like move this velocity. Throw it in here. Ah. Bam, there we go. I'm gonna shake that out a bit. And let that drain. Strain it out good. We don't we want it to be as grease free as possible. Not like the way I usually do ground meat, just the quick way I always been doing it in my other. Then we're gonna it's a little drip drip in there, just sift the shit out of there. There at shit, there's still grease coming out of it. I'm gonna wash this down the drain. Okay, now we're gonna dump it back in here. Careful not to strain myself. Either. Okay, our next step is I'm going to add the soup and the sour cream. So I'm going to add the cream of toadstool. Yeah. I'm going to scrape every little bit out of the can in a second, but um, take this real quick. And, yeah. When I pause it, I'm going to throw it through. Um, I'm going to dang. Uh, scrape the um scrape the can real good but we're, we're gonna skip the shakes of garlic because uh oh yeah we're gonna put a couple shakes of minced onion not a lot like i usually do i'm not gonna throw the whole damn thing in today damn it don't get to have any fun this one is actually no, I'm, kidding, I'm kidding i'm kidding i'm kidding uh, I'm, I'm being kidding but um so i'm going to just I'm going to do the discipline this week for the integrity of this meal because this is the way you're supposed to do it. I'm going to, hey, I get to dump a whole thing of this in. Yeah. Haha. <laughs> See, I'm going to do some self-control here. This is an exercise of self-control. But Okay, we're going to throw this in. See what the thing is. All right. So, two sprinkles of garlic. But since this is roasted garlic, cream of... Toadstool and roast of the garlic. We're not going to add the garlic powder we usually do, right? But I'm just going to put this down for one second. And I'm going to scrape this can. It won't even take a second. Uh -huh. There. Do it better. Uh, do it better. Do it. I can still do it better later. Okay, add the soup, sour cream. Yeah, I'm going to throw the minced onion, but only like what? Like three shakes? Like that? Like that? Yes. Like that? Okay. Sure, I'm going to make sure I did. I think I got a little. Is it even coming out right? Yeah, it did. Yeah, it did. I mean, it is pieces of onion ain't coming through these holes very good. Oh, hell with it. That That works. I smell it. I actually smell it. Don't look like I put very much minced onion in there, but them few shakes. That's a lot. I'm going to mix this up a little bit. but All right. Two, two minced onion. Six squirts of Worcestershire sauce. Six squirts. Okay. Okay, I'm going to go like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, that was almost seven. But Worcestershire sauce is the Worcestershire sauce is very uh, strong. I've cooked with it before. I put I cooked with it before. I put a lot in it. I put a lot in one time, and something I did one time. Worcestershire sauce is pretty strong. Uh, Unless you want to, you don't want to put like a whole shitload of it. If you, unless you want to taste a lot of Worcestershire sauce, and we don't want to taste nothing but Worcestershire sauce in here. So the beef is back in the pan. Yeah, mix it up completely. So I got to mix mix it up. And mix this up and set it aside. Now you us do a mix here. Mix it up. I'm going to mix this up and it's going to go aside for a second, but because we're going to get our um, pan ready here. 
see this is a uh, mix it up like a soup. When I pause this, I'll probably scrape this can out a little bit. You know what? I got most of it damn out. There might be a little bit better. Okay, I'm going to take this right here. This is our big pan. And half a bag of these Tators. So what I'm going to do here is... Yeah. Hold on. Yeah. It can go like that real quick, but damn it, where did I put the bigger scissors? Oh, this will work right here. I had those bigger ones, but I'm going to just make a cut in this bag here. All right. About half a bag of these. Unless you're going to make a double recipe, half a bag like of it. I'm going to put this down for a second because it's a big ass bag. Hold on. Here for one second. Because it's heavy as shit. About that much. Yeah, that's about half. I'm pretty sure that uh, kind of uh, arranged them pretty good. Ah, god damn it. Well, that one fell on the floor. Can't use it anymore. But it's good. All right, like that. Get it basically in a half a bag of Tators. Half a bag of Okay, I can pour the pan mix right over top. Just just right here and now, okay. So that's that's good. So that's what we're gonna do now. So I'm going to throw this over top, spread it around. Okay, like that, I'm gonna spread it around in a second here. Damn it. Ah. Go and spread it. Spread it around. Now what I'm gonna put this down for one second. So I'm gonna try to scrape the rest of this shit out. This is a lot of shit. This is a lot of shit to scrape out. I could put it in this corner here. Don't want any of this going to waste. around just smear it around a little bit okay and what we're gonna do next take half of the bag of cheddar cheese and pour it over top so half of this uh, bag of cheese I'm gonna put the camera down for a second so I can cut the bag open Oh yeah, I do get to have some fun, but not throw the whole thing because we gotta layer this. It's almost like a lasagna. I gotta gauge it just right because I don't want to make the two pan overfilled. Because how crazy I get sometimes. All right, up and get this out of here. So I'm gonna just ah, lift this up right here like this. So I'm gonna take a wad out of here and. Damn it. Make sure this don't fall over. But I'm gonna hold on. Ah, hold up. Yeah. Damn it. Stick it like that. Take a wad out. 
throw it on here, and then I'm going to take another wad and throw it until I get half of the bag, but I'm going to cover this all up. Ah, damn it, damn it, damn it. Don't want to spill any of it. And another... Take out another wad. I'm going to just throw it all over top, just like that. Fill up the corners. Damn, that's still a lot. I don't even got half, quite half, and look how high this is. Holy crap. So, um... Pour other half a bag of tater tots over the cheese mix and then the remaining cheddar cheese. Okay, so this is going to be a challenge here, so... Okay, I'm going to get the other tators. And we're just throw the whole throw the whole damn thing all over the top. All right, there we go. This is going to be a little tricky there too because the capacity is kind of. Okay, I'm going to spread these around. I'm going to make it nice and even. Holy crap! All right, I'm gonna be a little careful, cautious with this cheese. This is pretty. This is pretty high here. I got it all in, but I think I got a bigger bag than we got the last time, didn't I? This is a big bag. I'm not sure what I'll get the cheese. Anyway, we're gonna have some cheese on top. I'm gonna put one more layer of cheese on top. Be kind of careful here. Because then we're going to sprinkle some Rice Krispies over the top of the cheese after I put it on here. So, all right. I'm going to try to take my time and arrange these so I fill in every gap. You know what? I'm going to just press it down, squeeze it down like this. I'm going to smash it down a little bit because this is our biggest pan we got. And I think... Uh, I think when you did this, you had to be careful by the time you got to the top, right? Yes. Yeah, because I'm right over there. And you ain't going to believe this. I, I think I got a bigger bag of this cheese the last time because I didn't even got quite half. And that's a, still a lot of cheese. And I'm going to put some more on top. I got a lot of cheese here. I, got, I think these are the pretty large. But I'm going to go and cover it over. But I'm going to have – this is going to be tricky because – we don't want it to. Um, we don't want it to boil over. But I'm gonna cover this with foil. Do you cover it with foil? I did. I don't. When you did it. All right, I did. Cause yeah, I think we don't want it to boil over. I would rather. You know, maybe. And I'm gonna put this over here. I'm gonna be real careful with this, but. Kind of got a little bit of cheese here all over the place, but I'm going to brush it up by all that. But this is a lot of cheese. I know. I think we got. A, I think I got a way bigger bag of cheese the last time. There ain't no way all this cheese is getting on it. I'd like it to be, but bigger. Okay, I'm going to throw this as much as I got here. I'm going to try to cover it over. Oh, yeah, the rice, yeah, to keep it from boiling over, the Rice Krispies is going to absorb in this and keep it from burning, too. So the Rice Krispies on top is going to make it uh, make it quite a, an interesting touch. But I'm going to try to cover up everything. I'm going to pause for now. You get the idea. But just taking both hands off a of camera I've, when I wasn't recording I was squeezing down and pressing real hard with both hands you know outside of the camera before I started recording again okay so we're going to put a layer of rice krispies over top somehow I'm going to get some I guess it don't got to be perfect but I'm pretty high over the top 
a little higher than a top than I anticipated, but I'm going to go ahead. The cheese is going to um, absorb into it. It's going to be really cool. So I'm going to go ahead and do it. I figured I'll just start from the middle and just spread some. I think we're just going to have like a small coating. It's not going to be like anything really. I'm going to coat the entire top like with a thin layer. And this is going to absorb into here, but we're going to... I'm going to spread, spread this over top. Yeah, this time I get to take the turn to make this. Um, I can see there's quite a discipline to this because this is, for one thing, this is the biggest pan we got. And I got to be really careful. And then I don't want, I'm, I'm one to get really crazy with onion and garlic and dumping entire things on her. I don't want to do that this time. I don't want to destroy the integrity of, uh, this is the meal she makes. This is my first chant time doing it. So um, we're going to spread just a layer of this. You know, I'm not going to do anything like real fancy. It's not going to be. Try not to um, waste too much of this recording making a big deal of it. But I'm going to spread it real nice. But I'm going to fix this up real quick. Okay, I'm going to pause this. For a second and when I pause this I'm gonna fix it a little bit better but it's the basic idea here it's I don't think it's really got to be perfect but it looks real nice like about like that get it on here real nice and I'm gonna put foil on top of it then maybe when I get the foil on top of it I think I'll maybe apply a little bit of pressure before I throw it in the oven but I'm gonna pause real quick it all foiled I kind of put two layers of foil so it reaches this end. And I'm just going to apply a little bit of pressure and all around here and just press the foil down over in a second. But what we're going to do is I'm going to move this for one second. We're going to put some foil under this before I put it in the stove, but I'm going to take it like this. Because in case it boils over... I'm gonna hoping that if there's any drip, they'll catch this because then I'm gonna have to. This is not a self cleaning stove. And I have to use Easy Off to clean the stove. So we're gonna go ahead and like that. I'm gonna put this on here. So I'm gonna put this on here like this and I'm gonna go like this with it. Kind of turn it up because I'm gonna grab this and. Gonna heat turn this up to be a this was about 400 degrees here. So um we're gonna open this up and we're gonna throw it in. Here I'm gonna put this turn this up here. There, so when this boils over, if it boils over, I hope not. But there we go. Okay, so I got some across the bottoms because if this boils over, it won't make such a damn mess. But there we go. I'm going to put it in for 45 minutes. Yeah. Yeah, 45. Okay, we're going to have it 45 minutes there to cook in this uh, stove here. So um, I'm going to clean up this damn mess and then stay tuned. Um, 45 minutes, I'm going to take it out and we'll see what, how good I did it. Wait, we're going to open this up. I'm going to take the mitts here. I'm going to need both hands to pick this shit up. So put this here for one second. Put these on. goes uh, lift this out of here <sighs> all right back in the drawer all right let's see how this come out I didn't get no no cheese boiled over looks like it's gonna work out seeing if I would have uh, I put this in the bottom just to be cautious 
If I wouldn't have did it, I probably would have had spillage. But that's... Okay, I took a little bit of these off. I may have put too many on top, but it's almost um, there. I kind of put the, the tater tots were sort of still frozen, but that's all right. A little bit longer will be fine. I'll just spread this out. The only purpose of this anyway is so it don't stick to the foil and it's supposed to garnish the top and taste real good and melt inside there. So. It's still got a little bit of melting to do. It's pretty hot in there, so we're going to put it in a little longer. Put it back in. All right. I put it back in for a while to see what happens. Okay, it did melt pretty good. Looks like oh, it looks like it melted on the inside. Like it's supposed to. Cut into it here. Yeah, that appears to have melted. Check this out. Yeah. Damn it, that fell. Something fell, okay. Let's see if I can. Where is the plastic key? Here it is. I'm gonna try to take some of this out and oh, some melting did take place. Yeah. Yes it did. All right, what do you think? Is it okay? I think I could use a fork. Oh, that would help. All right, I'm having me some more. We were just eating it. Turned out good. So, like, say, uh, this big-ass pan we got, we're still going to be eating some, you know, and uh, even share some. So, hell, take a serving out. And then when you eat it the next day and reheat it, throw it in a damp. Before you throw it in the microwave, sprinkle a handful of the shredded cheese on it. If it's not cheesy enough for you, like, we're going to be eating this the next day, so. So that's the basic idea. I mean, if for a big pan like this, you might have some that's like, like I had today, Hot, some of it's hot on the outside and some of it's somewhat um, cold on the inside or whatever, a big old pan and the stove. But if that happens, you can always just microwave your plate. To, you know, that's not the end of the world. Um, that's what I'm going to be doing tomorrow when we're eating it tomorrow anyway, you know. But there you go. There you have it. And this is... The, um, you can see the beef in there. It's, it's inside the layer when it's served like this. It's not going to be in a chunk or anything like, say, lasagna when it cools. You know, this is how it's going to look and you're eating it. That's my second helping right here I'm going to have. So, all right. Okay, I'm going to get mine, served hers, and I'm going to serve mine. It's hot enough. We eat some more melting's going on. The tater tots are hot. See, this, there's some melting went on. That's quite all right because, you know what? Because this is going to be plenty for tomorrow. And just we'll just put it in the oven and heat it again, and more melting will go on. on. I put the tater tots in frozen, and it took a little longer, but that's all right.
But then all I got to do is I think what I can even do when we eat some of this, just move some of it over if you want. I mean, well, anyway, folks, you can even gauge how much cheese you like. If anything, you make too much and it turns out like this, just, you could spread it out and even when there's more room in a pan, add a little more cheese if you want to, too. But tater tots are good and hot. I had a lot crowded in here. but It turned out. I mean, I just tasted mine. It's like. Oh, but um, ah. all right, I'm going to go ahead and serve mine, but anyway, that's how it did. It kind of melted all through here, stab it in there. It's melted in there. Like in the bottom, it was heating through the bottom. This one, I should have moved the oven rack a little bit, readjusted it, and made it down a little lower too. But this electric stove has things where it's heating like up top and down there. Like, but um, this is an awful lot, and I did make have it frozen, but uh, what the hell, but. Anyway, I'm just going to end it here. Uh, um, something I'm going to, I'm going to leave you with something else I'm going to eventually, I'm going to do here. I bought a few of these. I think this is going to be one of my next projects. I got some of these out, but uh, yeah, I'm going to, I'm looking forward to doing the Chef Barty pizza thing. But anyway, we're going to eat this. I mean, what the hell? When you reheat something like this the next day and we've done before, it even tastes even better. So it worked out. But I'm going to end this video. Um, thank you for watching the show. This has been the show. This has been the show. The Asshole Cooking Show. Thank you for watching the show. Show. <laughs>